So still recovering tonight after a weekend of severe weather and flooding rain. That's right. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan spoke with a Bloomington music teacher who woke up Saturday morning to a loud crash in her studio. He explains what happened next. She thought she was in the clear having avoided all that downtown flooding. That is until Saturday morning when a tree came crashing through her roof, leaving her home in shambles. At the time, we were watching a scary movie. <laughs> Yet little did they know. The lightning and the thunder and the wind. Their lives were about to feel like a film. And I was like, this is a lot. Audrey Williams just moved out of her Bloomington area apartment a month ago. This is my first house. I'm a first home buyer. <laughs> crash course into home buying. <laughs> a crash course indeed. It just felt like an earthquake. Waking Audrey and her boyfriend from their sleep. I thought it was a tornado. Only it wasn't. A massive tree fell after Saturday's storms smashing through the roof of her new home. I'm not dead. <laughs> I could have died. Yeah. I mean, my bedroom's right here, and this is this disaster is right here. Well, she remains alive. Her music studio, where she teaches children. All my violin and cello books <laughs> is gone. I was finishing you know, the, the last touches on that apartment, cleaning it. I'm self-employed. I get paid when I teach the lesson. Thankfully, her instruments were in another room. That was one of the last, that was one of like the first questions everyone asked. They were like, are you okay? Are your cats okay? Is the base okay? <laughs> Students have come by to help clean while their family is on vacation. She was supposed to be there too. Instead, they are setting up GoFundMe accounts. My dad's on vacation and started it, <laughs> like from, from Key West. <laughs> In the meantime, I haven't really slept since it happened. Yet Audrey does have a place to stay. Guess I'm going back, so I'm at my old apartment right now. Not quite the Hollywood ending. Really Audrey is hoping to start teaching soon, but is not sure when that will be. Her first priority is getting her home back in order. In Bloomington, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.